Commentary comes from Rod Studd and Wayne Mark. Sit back, strap yourself in and enjoy the ride for the next quarter of an hour. Treated to the best that darts can offer, the best there has ever been against the best there is now. 140. And it does not come any more tasty than that. But Phil Taylor has not beaten Michael Van Gerwen in a meaningful televised match since the match play final of 2014 when he took him to the cleaners and left Michael Van Gerwen in tears. He did, he made him cry and Michael said that wouldn't happen again. And he kept his word because since then he's won nine of the last ten meetings as Michael Van Gerwen. And some of those wins will have really 100. hurt Phil badly because he's been in front a few times but could not hold on. And he knows that Michael Van Gerwen just doesn't care that he is Phil Taylor. Oh my, what a start. 22nd of the tournament. He's upped his 180 output over the last few weeks and now the power to pounce for a break. Impossibly, 11 darts. Ooh, well, it'll have to be 12 now. He needs to be just a little bit careful here. Michael Van Gerwen waiting on 150. Taylor wants double eight. Michael Van Gerwen at the weekend went bull, bull, bull on 150. He did. He will not be doing that today. And it was unusual for Phil to miss a single number. 58. But Michael has had a real stinker of a first leg. Can Phil make it a stonker? Double eight. Four doesn't want to start faffing. Square. Required 92. Well, six darts and a two dart combination, double 16. And is yeah, that. The first leg. Michael Van Gerwen. Is that. Leg is built to throw first. A Came massive, off. massive body blow as early on as the first leg. Michael, you see him kind of smile or smirk, however you want to interpret it. He knows that that hurt. That could have stopped Phil Taylor in his tracks. These, le these matches are not always won with the, the last shooting of the, the final legs. They can be won in the first leg. I remember Robert Thornton playing Phil Taylor in the final of the Grand Slam. Missed five, six, seven darts at double in the first leg and said after, and that was a first to 16, I never recovered. Here he goes. Yeah, six darts at 41 for Phil Taylor. Four of them were at a double. Do you think the single nine missing it could have just upset him a bit? It's possible. Just looking for something. We just briefly mentioned the weekend. At the weekend, these two tungsten titans clashed in the sanitised, sterile environment of a Pro Tour event. Van Gerwen won 6 2. 39. But it was a performance of the highest quality. Phil Taylor had a 1 2 8 checkout, but it wasn't enough to shake the Dutchman out of his stride at all. He's back in. 95. Only 95 with a 61st dart. Michael will feel let off. Can he pounce? The answer is no. 42. This is edgy. Oh, and Michael Van Gerwen, I know he took out the 92, but he clearly hasn't settled. Fourteen. Which he accidentally hit in the last leg. And Topsy Berries for a 1 1 4 checkout and a nice little stomach settler for the 16 times world champion. Michael's last three averages have read 123, 116, and 113. He's currently averaging 86. Nerves do play a part, even when you are the world's best. Wayne will uh, beaver away now for the last time Van Gerwen finished a match with 86 and he'll come back in about a week. 125. <laughs> 81. Well, have a look at that. And 
register it in your mind. This is a man who averaged, well, he was on the brink of averaging 132 in a darts match three weeks ago. 95. Michael Van Gerwen has topped the league the last three years. Phil Taylor, the seven years previous to that. Quite incredible. Right where he wants it, that isn't, but needs to find another treble here. What so Van Gerwen has got half a dozen at 180 to go 2 1 in front in a game where he is so far below par, it's just not funny. 140. Michael Van Gerwen normally averages more than this on a double start format. He normally averages more than this in the blindfold format these days. <laughs> Never seen that. 90. Like we that's the point. 40. Tops. <laughs> yes, yeah, and Michael Van Gerwen goes Michael back 2 1 in front. I wonder by the end if first. that first leg we yeah. might come back and think, well, that was Phil Taylor's big chance. Still playing. Very sedately here, Phil Taylor, and one has to assume this is deliberate from the 16 times world champ to try and slow Van Gerwen 44. down and slow him down. And why not? If you know your opponent likes playing at a quicker pace than you, and you have the capability of playing slightly slower, more methodical, then do so. It's not illegal. Just try not to put yourself 59. off. We mentioned it had been a long time in between drinks for Phil Taylor against Michael Van Gerwen, but he was within a dart of beating him at the uh, semi-final of the Masters. In fact, seven times he missed a dart to knock Van Gerwen out of that tournament, lost 11-10. He was 4-1 up against him in the UK Open semi-final, lost 10-6. He was 7-3 up at the Grand Slam of darts final uh, back in November and uh, eventually lost 16-13, so 47. many, many times he's got in a winning position but hasn't been able to convert. Frustrating for him. Oh, yes. One apiece now, but it was the timing. This is on the Phil Taylor throw. For the first break of throw in this match. Single 20 for tops. 65. Well, that was a bit careless. Phil Taylor, nowhere to be seen in the leg, but Michael, I feel sure, would have been more happy leaving tops rather than dragging it low. 140. Michael, you're required 20. For 3 1, three straight legs also, yeah, and no so problem for. Oh, the Dutch starting juggernaut as he goes 3-1 in front. Welcome back to Glasgow for week seven of the Premier League. Michael van Gerwen against Phil Taylor, the Dutchman just edging it in this highly anticipated encounter. Mm, things are beginning to look dangerous now. The game has changed. Michael van Gerwen is in the swing of things and Phil Taylor is wilting. The first leg will have played a part of that there's no doubt 57 yeah, he started brightly here phil taylor but his average as wayne alluded to has dipped down now to 92. it's been a tournament full of ton plus averages for phil taylor 102 104 115 100 dead 111 but his has dipped when Michael's has risen from mid-80s to, to 100 plus, as Phil it's his second 180. 86. But at the moment, Van Gerwen is outplaying the 16-time world champ, the six-time Premier League champ. He's holding it together just that little bit better. 
54. Mike Weir at 136. Ninety-six. Perfect setup. The last two legs. Michael Van Gerwen was on a double. Phil was on 260. Michael Van Gerwen's on a double. Phil's on 210. You have to keep pace with Michael. At least make him think about it. Like we require 40. Tops for 4-1. 4-1 four one. Four one it is. Michael and so far, Van Michael Van Gerwen has not Sigmund needed Phil any the of the on. fireworks, the turbo that we've seen in the last few weeks. Some of the stats are quite ludicrous. He's had over half his legs that he's won in this tournament this year, Wayne, have been in 12 darts or fewer. It's preposterous, but he hasn't needed that extra gear so far tonight. 60. The 92 shot out in two darts in the first leg has changed everything. 97. Because the second leg was really poor from Michael as well, and it could have so easily been 2 0 to Phil Taylor. Then it's a different game. When you get two players of this quality, of this calibre, it changes on fine margins. 100. Phil will be horrified at the performance he's putting in so far. He'll be angered and annoyed. 177. Michael's average now 105. Remember back in the day when it was 86, Wayne? Yes. 60. Seems a long, long time ago now, doesn't it? Because he's upped it by 20 points. And now has taken a vice-like grip on this match. And Phil Taylor has had no answer. Started so well. Everything went according to the Phil Taylor game plan, didn't it? Until he just bodged those darts at double at the back end of the first leg. Looked like he was going to win that first leg against the darts. Indeed. Double 18. 78. Well, how many times over the years have we said you need to take out the 156s, 161s against Phil Taylor? Well, now Phil Taylor has to take out those kind of finishes against Michael Van Gerwen. 100. Now he's relying on Van Gerwen. Muffing this double nine, and he hasn't. And it's five consecutive legs now for the world number one. The man who has won six of the last seven televised darts tournaments, the one that stands out like a sore thumb, is the World Darts Championship. 137. But everything else has been devoured by this insatiable appetite for trophies of the Dutchman. No dark player on earth has beaten Phil Taylor more than Michael Van Gerwen. Is it going to be yet another defeat? 95. The 21st defeat at the hands of MVG. Quite incredible. Well, he still has the winning record, doesn't he? He's 55. won 27 against Van Gerwen. But well, you feel, how, how long can he maintain a winning record? 99. Well, pre-2012, pre when Michael... In his previous when, incarnation. Yes, when something clicked in July 2012, Phil's record against Michael then was played 18-116. And we require 170. Just to put it in perspective, even Wayne Mardlow in that period has a 50% record against Michael Van Gogh. Yes, that's how bad he was. And now, <laughs> almost, there's no such thing as an unbeatable sportsman. Not at this game, at any rate. But he's becoming very, very close to that. 137. Michael Weir requires 74. Here we go. 20 for tops for 6-1, incredibly, in six straight legs. 54. Remember, he beat Phil Taylor 7-0 before in the Premier League. Got to go, Phil. 60-24. 14 or treble. Bullseye. Yes, Pure class. Under all the pressure in the world. Michael Van Gerwen needs a point Game to on. guarantee being top at the end of this week. You 
felt prior to that dart that Phil Taylor was dangling over the edge of the cliff, just clinging on by his fingertips, but that has hoisted himself back so he can actually get a peek at dry land above. He's now three legs adrift, he's got the darts in this leg, but it's still a phenomenally difficult task. Has to win at least four of the remaining legs, the remaining five to get a draw. And he'd have to win all five to win. Feels only one, two legs, as you can see, with finishes of 114 and 84. This is a must win leg. Then he has to assert himself. Does the power in the next? Well, they were poor, even though it was a score of 100. You see Phil's reaction after the last start. And the bar is raised to such a height now that a score of a ton can just be made to look mediocre by Van Gerwen's second maximum. Trouble 19. 139. Even so, two dart finish then for Phil Taylor to get it back to within two. 59. Here we are at was 62. 30, 32. Treble 10. Double 16. Oh, that's yeah, good. So that's clinical. Along with the 84 in the last leg, this is good stuff from Phil. Considering all the pressure is on. This isn't just a darts match. This is against the most successful player that has ever lived. And we thought we'd never see the like against possibly the best darts player that we've ever seen, which is Michael Van Gerwen. But it isn't over yet. Well, it seemed over at 5-1, but Phil Taylor has hung on in there and refused to roll over. And now... Courtesy of the bullseye finish on 84, the 62, and then the 177 at the start of this leg has now given himself something of a scent of something. Needs a two treble visit. 99. Only 99. There's a dart in front. Oh. Right, the door is open now for Phil Taylor. Forty-three behind. In front now, and perfectly pitched. Craves a second treble. One hundred and five. Okay, that's fair enough. That leaves Shanghai. What will this leave, though? One hundred and forty. 60, 20 tops. He's done this hundreds of times, thousands possibly. 20. What a marker that is. He could not have walked up to the board and put that second dart in a better spot. It made the double top look massive. Magnificent. It's 5 4 to Michael Van Gerwen. Was 5-1, three legs on the bounce from the power. Wow, remarkable. Five or six minutes ago, you were sitting there, weren't you, thinking, what an anti-climax this is. Now you're thinking, what a <laughs> game this is. Phil Taylor, scrapping. At 5-1 down, Phil Ooh, Taylor has managed to hit an 84 on the bullseye after Michael Van Gerwen had a dart for a possible draw, then took out 62, then started 177 and ended with 120. That is under the cosh to do that. 60. That's why he's achieved all he has. What a mindset. Back in 2007, in Sheffield from memory, it was a similar showdown against Raymond Van Barneveld when they were the big two cats in the darting jungle. Taylor went 5-1 down in that match and won. Is there a repeat? He looked like he had no chance halfway through that match, just as he looked like he had no chance tonight at 5-1 down, with Van Gerwen having a dart for 6-1. 90. Say what you like about this man, he hasn't lost his competitiveness or his refusal to lose. 
Indeed. He's in. Looking to leave 64. And does. Michael Van Gerwen looking to hit a 170. We have not seen one of these in this year's Premier League. We have not seen one of these in this year's Premier League. The situation comes about and Michael Van Gerwen wins that leg with a 170, but more importantly, it's a guaranteed point. And did you see Phil Taylor approached the hockey and Michael said, hold on, pal, it's me to throw. That was a break. That was emphatic. That was mesmeric. That was a real hammer blow. But he's only gone off with 57. As Phil Taylor looks to regather himself. Superb. What a reply. Michael just losing a bit of composure there, the first two visits. Well, the 170 would have stopped almost every player in his tracks. But it has not derailed Phil Taylor. He has carried on as if nothing has happened. He's gone 140, 140 against the darts. Good. Goodness me! He leaves 170. <laughs> special players are sent to do special things. This would be one of those. 96. Like we require 170. He cannot do it again. Ah! <laughs> Why did you say that? Oh, but great celebration. What a performance here from Phil Taylor trying to cling on here against the throw. Can he possibly? He can now. 25 bull. Oh, that is so tough. That is so tough. Yeah, he just threw the last start away, missing the nine. But Michael Van Gerwen to beat Phil Taylor 7 4. Wants double 18. A chance that he didn't expect. The last start was thrown away. Instead of hitting a nine, he hit a 12. So he has to waste the dart. This for a break of throw, double four. That is a break of throw. That is double four. Phil Taylor now is throwing for a draw. Game on. We mentioned the match where Phil Taylor missed seven match darts to beat Michael Van Gerwen. It was in the Masters semi-final. Tonight, Michael Van Gerwen has missed three to beat Phil Taylor, who has come back here, let's not forget, from 5-1 behind and being smacked on the chin with a haymaker with a 170 out. The 170 from Michael seemed to have done the job, but Phil's having none of it. Messed up the 125 finish, but Michael made a real hash of double 18, and now the power is in control. What a performance this is. What a match this is now. And the kettle is coming right to the boil. Five points in it. Can Phil Taylor go out in six from here and get a draw? He's played the well, nigh on the perfect leg. 140. It's brilliant. Three 140s on the bounce when you need to hold throw. Oh. I have no words. Good grief. Now, Phil Taylor, can he hold it all together here to earn a priceless point in the Premier League? He's going to get one dart and one dart only. And it will be at double 13. For a draw! What a draw! What a performance! What a fight back! The 16 times world champion is not finished yet by any manner or means. From 5 1 down, he gets a point. Van Gerwen missed three darts to win the match. He missed a lot at double 18, and Taylor has somehow earned a share of the spoils. They stay joint top of the table. What a match between the big two.